Welcome back, Q's Nation. This is uh, Cameron Lynch on Cam's Cam and uh, Hearns LeGarrette, my brother. Um, we have a bye week this week, so um, we're going to keep the keep the fans hungry and uh, feed you guys what you guys want. So, um, you know, Hearns LeGarrette here is he's a, a walk on here at Syracuse University, uh, broadcast journalism major, and uh, one of the hardest workers I know in the film room and on the field. Um, I you know sometimes I aspire to have his drive. Um, so let's get right to it. Um, let's go to the, uh, the fans and the tweets. Um, Hearns, so um, from Scott, uh, Scott Kevy, um, the question is, through all the seasons you've played for Syracuse football, which home game has been the greatest fan atmosphere that you, that you can remember? Well, uh, I would say the, the BC game uh, was probably the biggest game that, and the funnest game that I've been a part of because uh, um, one thing I remember uh, clearly is like the, we had the, side, the great sideline coaches. Uh, they were like, oh, man, uh, I, I know they weren't going to run this play well. And like pretty much like thinking like they predicted the game and like they were the master uh, of, fo of football. It was that was funny to me. And also I found it funny, like when we weren't doing too hot, people were like, ah, oh, they're going to lose. And they walked out. But the moment we started like um, getting back momentum, like people turned back and was like, oh, uh, I guess I should go back down. And like, right. I thought that was funny. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was cool. You know, you gotta love the, some of the Q's fans and stuff like that to keep you, to keep you entertained. So, okay. yeah. Okay, yeah. So, uh, you know, I went to the AC Media Day mm -hmm. and, um, you know, some of the guys on the Wake Forest team were saying like, oh man, like, you know, the Syracuse fans are rowdy. It gets hot in there and they're so rowdy. <laughs> yeah. And so like, you know, it's almost the 12th man. So I don't mm -hmm. think people realize what you guys do um, affects the other team. So, uh, yeah. you know, good job on that one. Appreciate um, it. <laughs> yeah, so the next one is uh, from uh, Chris Ramey. Um, at Ramey 1421. He says, what's the biggest difference in year one of Coach Schaefer's uh, season to this season so far? Year one to this year. Well, I would say first year, you know, there was a, there was a huge emphasis on, you know, getting the ones and twos ready because, um, you know, it was a new season, kind of like a new team. So you just want to make sure that you have your people that, that are going to start and stuff ready. But this year, uh, Coach Schaefer had a huge emphasis on getting the young guns ready as well, kind of to get like the, the whole team uh, um, rallied up with the whole team ready in, uh, in a sense, you know, so I thought that, that was like one of the biggest one of the biggest uh, differences. Okay, so, that's yeah. good. Yeah, and you know, no, no man left behind really. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I feel like that's huge, you know, with uh, the best teams in the nation. They have great backups and the great guys that, you know, give looks. So, yeah. um, you know, you only like uh, as strong as your weakest uh, component. Exactly, so, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, a shout out to the young guys. <laughs> okay, so, um, you know, like we do as we uh, wrap up each show, uh, 38 get down. So um, right. what I want to capture in this in this uh, TV show here is to you know exploit you know the men under the uniform like we did with Dyshawn the dancing last week. Um, Hearns Laguerre is a profound poet. Uh, if you guys didn't know, uh, I went to a few a few of his uh, poetry slams, and uh, you know 38 get down. Uh, I want Hearns to show a little something that he's uh, that he has. All right, cool. I have a special treat for you guys. Uh, last year I did a poem for the team. Uh, and this year, uh, I'm, I'm going to start, I'm going to do a new poem, give you guys a little preview of what I have so far. And let me just get my book. Hold on. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Hearns is going to get his, his book right now, and uh, he's going to give a little something that, he, uh, that he's, that's been working on and um, is good at. So. All right, cool. So the title of uh, this year's poem is We Fight. Um, so hopefully you guys like it. My father told me that a man is either standing up or laying down meaning you're either doing something or doing nothing, meaning you're either making moves or making excuses. Who are we? We are in the business of winning, but not only games, but everything. With every workout, we fight. With every meeting, we fight. With every assignment given to us, we fight. Because throughout it all, we have one objective, to play at the highest level as a team and to redefine the culture of hard work to higher standards every day. That is what we do. Hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully you guys uh, definitely like it. Yeah. When, uh, when I'm done with the whole poem, we'll try to see how I'm going to get it out to uh, the Q's fans. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snaps for that one, Hearns. Thank you. Um, appreciate that, man. Yeah, most definitely. Thank you for having me on, man. I really yeah. like it. Yeah, most yeah. definitely. You know, I, I've seen you, uh, you know, do your thing at Poetry Slams, and mm -hmm. that's just, you know, a little snippet. So if yeah. you're ever in, the, ever in the area, come out to a Poetry Slam, and uh see Hearn's work. So uh, I love the support. Thank you. Yeah, most definitely. So, um, you know, wrap up the show uh, next week. We play Central Michigan. Um, come out or just just tune in at least because we'll be there at Central Michigan. So yeah. uh, next week, look for look for Josh Kirkland and Luke uh, Arsenega That's on show fun. next week. Yeah. Uh, 
some meatheads, uh, some uh, <laughs> some protein weight guy, you know, weight room guys that we have, and uh, we should have fun there too. But uh, here's Herman Laguerre, and I thank you for tuning in. Thank you, appreciate right. it. No doubt, no doubt, my brother. All right. <laughs>